With the exception of two quick trips to Fort Mountain State Park in Georgia, I spent most of December and part of January at Harrison Bay State Park, spending time with my parents. But I didn't buy the Airstream to just sit in one place, so I hitched up and headed to North Georgia in search of waterfalls and new scenery. All right, now heading to the waterfall. And if I'm correct, the waterfall that I'm looking for is on the far side of this lake, which doesn't look that far. Nice little lake. And uh, during the summertime, they've got a uh, a beach over there. And one thing about Vogel State Park, the visitor center was the only location I could get internet, TV, or cell phone reception. We're not heading to Blood Mountain today. I am heading to Bear Hair Gap Trail. And about, uh, that's about a 4.1 mile trail. I should only have to go about halfway on that trail to get to the overlook, but we'll see. Uh, but Blood Mountain is this way. And the Appalachian Trail runs through this area somewhere. I've never taken the Appalachian Trail don't have plans of taking it at this time but uh, it's cold out here actually the weather is not too bad but the wind wind is uh, blowing makes everything colder and there's a little bit of uh, leftover snow from uh, two days ago I know driving up I could see snow up on the uh, tops of the mountains uh, but there's a, a little bit of snow still left here on the ground very light, very light snow though. I will say every time I do these hikes, I'm reminded by the fact that I need to be exercising more. So I'll just add another mile or two on this hike. But I plan on getting some good exercise this whole next week as I do a lot of hiking. Do a lot of hiking to uh, do a lot of hiking to uh, get to the waterfalls. It's not bad out here if you're not in the wind. I will say so far this trail is more like a 4x4 trail or an ATV trail. Beautiful day, beautiful day to be outside. Almost there. You know, I was going to turn around and go back the same way I came, but with this uh, huffing and puffing that I've been doing, which I haven't been doing too much, but uh, I can tell coming up the trail I need a little bit more exercise, so I'm going to reward myself by going all the way around on the uh, trail, 
to get myself back to the uh, to get myself back to the beginning. I think that's probably another extra mile, mile and a half, two miles of hiking. But uh, I'd rather go forward instead of going back. And uh, if I get a little bit more exercise, that's wonderful. Uh, all told, I'll probably be doing about six or seven miles today in hiking, which is good. It's what I planned for. Time to get some exercise and push yourself. You Got to push yourself every once in a while. Let's see what this overlook looks like. I brought another camera up, my uh, Sony RX100 Mark 7. Might as well break that out. See if I can get better shots. You tell me whether or not you can uh, see the difference in the uh, video quality. And after a mile or two, I was back at the campsite. Overall, Vogel State Park is a wonderful place to camp. And if you don't have an RV and you don't want to camp in a tent, they also have cabins you can rent. I was heading to Anna Ruby Falls. Made it all the way up here. Uh, this is outside of Helen, Georgia, not too far from Vogel State Park. And uh, I just drove through Helen, stopped at the uh, Welcome Center and all that, and then drove back up here to Anna Ruby Falls, only to find out it is closed Tuesday and Wednesday, and today is Tuesday. I can see the creek. I don't know how much further it is up there, but it's closed, which means I'm not uh, going to be able to go to this uh, waterfall today. Oh, well. But the next day, I traveled to Amicalola Falls State Park, established in 1940 and home to the 729-foot Amicalola Falls, which is the third highest cascading waterfall east of the Mississippi River. So far on this uh, trail coming up, it's just been a, uh, a pathway that's been sloping upwards. Uh, this is the first uh, platform and it looks like this one, uh, this section has 175 steps. Now it's time for me to uh, start getting my steps in for today. 605 at least going up, 605 coming down. Now 425 more steps, I should be at the top. So I'm at the top of the falls now, uh, out alongside where the uh, lodge is at.
uh, I don't know if they have any cabins here. I know Vogel State Park has a number of cabins. Uh, this one here has a very nice lodge. I didn't go in to uh, take a look uh, inside the lodge or to inquire about how much uh, per night the rooms are. But uh, I did have a novel idea as I was coming up those steps about halfway up the steps. I thought, well, it would be a pretty cool idea to film it from the very bottom of the step and climb the 605 steps and then probably do it in a little fast forward uh, uh, on the film. Uh, but anyway, here's what 605 steps looks like now. After leaving Amakalola Falls, I drove a short distance to the Woody Gap Trailhead for a quick hike on the Appalachian Trail to the granite slab near the top of Big Cedar Mountain known as Preacher's Rock. I made it to Preacher's Rock a little bit longer climb than I thought it would be coming from the parking lot. Hyped as one of Georgia's most scenic mountain views, the hike in and out is only about two miles and was a perfect ending for the day. But I made it. This is the last destination for today. I go back to Vogel State Park. And then go to Don Carter State Park tomorrow. <laughs>